little CL site with the Caravan Motor Home Club. Um, really nice guy managed to book us on, so yeah, winner. Two nights here. As you come in, reception's in front of you. And the site's just through that gate. We've got Mins, Elsan. Perfect little site right next to a golf course. And there's our pitch. And there's the golf course. So this is Clevedon Marine Lake where you can go swimming and hire paddle boards. You want to hire a paddle board? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Shall we do it tomorrow? Oh, I've got my shorts. Oh, that's Silly shame. Me. You have? Everything lives in the van. We live in the van now. I, I'm glad I didn't bring them. <laughs> You're so full of shit. <laughs> so that actually looks like fun. I want to try it. Will you try it? I'm going to be short. Tomorrow? I haven't got my shorts, I have to do my boxes. They live in the van. Yeah, I didn't pack them. Such a liar. Trying to blag me that he didn't bring his swimming shorts and all of our worldly possessions are in the van. Oh, I didn't expect them to be swimming. Talking rubbish. They're in the van, I know they are because I packed them. They're not mine, they won't fit. Put them somewhere. So we now got a 40 minute walk back to the site. So it was 20 minutes, it's definitely 40 minutes, isn't it? I don't know, I don't know what time Right, we'll time it. So we're walking back through poet, Poets Walk. Poets Walk. Poets Walk. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. So we've done the easy bit and now we've got to go uphill. There is an old Roman fort at the top of the hill, but we're going to save that one till tomorrow morning, I think, because... Too many hills. Too many hills. And we want tea. And both of us forgot to turn the fridge on to electric from the battery. So, yeah, we're trying to get back. He says it was my responsibility and I'm telling him you can't rely on my memory at the moment because it's shocking. So we'll see if there's any food left. Like you're remembering life is how to breathe. That's Don't remember how to do that sometimes. No, you didn't on the way here. <laughs> no, I think I'm developing asthma. Unless I just got really fat and unfit. <laughs> fat and unfit. <laughs> That's mean. I find. So yeah, we'll see you when we get back to the van. I run on the beach at 5 o'clock every morning. Fucking fine. Absolute liar. <laughs> down the road from the site is this bridge if you cross it it's this big dog walk poo bins right by the river it's lovely yeah, I think Stevenson wrote Cleveland Golf Club yesterday it's not golf club it's golf centre um, it's £20 a night with electric hookup L Point and water we're here for two nights you can walk into Clevedon where the pier is but it takes about 40 minutes so you've also got all these little places for fishing maybe a little number so there must be plenty of fish in there you are not going in I had a bath the other day That's stunning little walk. So you can just see the golf centre over there from where I am, other side of the river. And go back now, feed these, and get his laziness out of bed. So we just walked up the main road, and 
Poets the next day. It's definitely a lot quicker than doing Poets Walk. Poets Walk is a scenic work, great. Right? It takes you all the way down the cliffs. But this, that was about, what, 40, 50 minutes yesterday. Easy. This is about 20, 25 minutes and no hills, which is a winner. Because my legs are already sore because I've took the dog on an, dogs on an hour walk this morning while he was snoring. So now he's going to treat me to some dinner. You're running away now. <laughs> he is. <laughs> so apparently there's two circuses on. There's a kids one which is Fantasia and then there is Cirque de Vulga. I don't know if you've heard of that before. I right, have. It's like quite a risque burlesque type circusy thing with acrobats and semi-naked ladies. So he wants to go. Hey. <laughs> I'd go but I bet he won't pay the price. No. <laughs> no, it's too tight. <laughs> Are you buying dinner? No. Who's buying dinner then? You. I'm not buying dinner. Yeah. No, I'm not. Why not buying me dinner? I paid for the campsite. I was going to scream yesterday. I paid for the bloody campsite. Cheeky gay is buying me dinner. I'm going to a nice pub. <laughs> Well, I paid for Confused Camping. It was expensive. I paid more for this side of the Rafa Confused. Oh, I haven't actually. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You. Two, two nights. Less than the Concierge Camping for one night on the yeah. CL. <laughs> Cute pub. Ah. Oh, well. Oh, thanks. Not open. It is open. It's not. It is. He will buy me dinner because he said he wasn't buying fish and chips. Because how much was it? £9.45 for one lot. So I said it's probably cheaper and better to go to a pub. So we're walking through Alexander Gardens. You know, there's our little deck chairs out for people. How cute is that? So we're now walking back towards the pier because he's dragged me 50 miles out of the way for a Flaming vape shop. What are you gonna say for yourself? Stop moaning. No, oh, I just don't get stuff delivered to the site. <laughs> not on site. You cut off before we left. Yeah. You never preempt anything, do you? I just thought of it before. Bloody useless. So now he is definitely buying me dinner. There's no doubt about that, was there anyway? <laughs> No and I'm carrying all this bloody juice as well. You got two bottles of juice. It's heavy. The phone, the camera. What have you got? My phone, my juice, my wallet, my batteries. You got your purse? No. You haven't got my card. You didn't bring your purse though, did you? Got my card. And what do I need? Travel companion job going. He's going to end up in the sea. Well, it's not even the sea here, it's the Bristol Channel. It looks a bit grim, doesn't it? Seven Estuary. Yeah. Seven Estuary. Well, you said it was the Bristol Channel yesterday. I thought it was, but it's the Seven Estuary. <laughs> Making me say things wrong. Yeah, useless, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do the vlog. Can't. Walking. Can't do two so, I mean, they can't even do nothing. All he does is drive the van. So, he's just took me for dinner here, the little harp inn. What do you think? Cost me a fortune. It was really nice actually. I had uh, steak and egg pie chips. And what did you have? Scampi and chips. Do you know how much it was? No. I had two pints of shandy but now we've got the trek back so I'm making him do the poet's walk again. <laughs> and we're full of food and drink so that should be fun. So this might be in full. We now have ice cream. Good to see of him. Again. <laughs> you treated today. But yeah, this is the fair. Not fair though, it's a circus. Circus. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Oh. I did. Um yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get up these hills after we've eaten all that food and that ice cream. We shall see. <laughs>
pier. That's the marine lake. We're not going on the pier because how much was it? Mm -hmm. £3.70 an adult. £3.75 from that right now. I know they have to pay for the upkeep of it, but charging to just walk down the pier is a bit ridiculous. I'm not getting that. anything else for your money. I know, it was just a cafe. So the signs everywhere are saying it's an old Roman hill fort. That's it. <laughs> it's a bit disappointing. <laughs> it's tiny, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think it would have fit many Romans in there. Go far down. No, it doesn't look like it. Unless it goes down deep in the mountains. So unless you're actually interested in Roman hill forts, I wouldn't recommend climbing the hill to go and have a look at it. <laughs> Would you? No. <laughs> and it looks like the views are amazing, but actually all that is mud. <laughs> Stephen's got something important to say, what's it called? Silt. Apparently it's silt, it looks like mud. go to Clevedon Golf Centre CL. If you walk down the roadway it takes about 25 minutes. If you go down Poets Walk and Wayne's Hill I think it's called. River yeah. Poets Walk, you know. It's about 40 minutes to 50 minutes I would say. Pretty way but... Pretty. Big climbs um, especially on the way into oh, Clevedon. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah really nice. Dead nice scenic walk wasn't it? I'm about two inches shorter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we had a really nice time didn't we? Yeah, it was a nice sight. Nice little sight. Um, I think I said it was £20 a night with hook up um, LSAT water oh. and there's only a five band sight because it's a CL. But yeah tidy little sight. He did squeeze us on. Nice guy because um, I did ring him. We were hovering around in Tesco trying to find somewhere because Clevedon you can't park. Um, it says it's park. Got park it's got a park up. Spot. It's got a park up on park for night but don't believe it because we, we even when we walked back from Clevedon at like late on the other night it was still absolutely rammed. You can't park around there. Not especially not in something this big. So, no, even the pub that's on. 
Yeah, there's a the pub night. stop, but I don't know where you would park something this big. Maybe it's for camper vans, but definitely I'd say not. More campers yeah. Than any not motorhomes. It's, it's definitely not equipped for that. It's tight. It's small, and it's very hilly. Um, but yeah, it was a good, good little CL, good little stop off. We are at Cheltenham now for two days. We're trying to hover around sites. I know I said we're going to do park ups, but the weather's going to be really, really hot, and we obviously need to you know take care of the dogs and keep them as cool as much as possible so on the barbecue. staying around sites so we can get loads of water and stuff to keep them cool um, and try and park in a shady spot <laughs> and yeah as you saw he treated me to dinner yesterday which is really nice um, put his hand in his back pocket oh yeah after our Vlog going to Round Hill and I spent 80 odd quid at Tesco. I've just been to Aldi, £34. Probably bought more stuff. Probably bought more stuff, although I didn't buy alcohol. Um, but the alcohol was only 20 quid at Tesco, 20, 24 quid I think for this room. So, what, it would have been 50 odd quid at Aldi, equivalent maybe, probably less because Aldi's cheaper. But yeah, 100% shopping at Aldi and Asda in future, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. And we just put 50 quid of a diesel in and only got 26 litres, nearly 20, just nearly 27 litres for that much. So it's absolutely stupid. We were saying, you know, we are not paying for a house, we're not, you know, we're just... It doesn't matter whether you're not paying for it, the fact of the matter is it's... It's a lot of money, a lot of money. If, if we were still in the house and in our full time jobs, we'd, we would have had to get rid of this because we wouldn't have been able to afford to go away in it, would we? Not paying to store it, paying for diesel, and paying for sites, yeah? Because yeah? um, a lot of the sites down here are between 20 and 30 quid a night. We've booked on another one for next week and that's 30 quid a night with no electric. So it's just crazy, don't understand it. I mean, I, Twenty pound two night, uh, twenty pound a night, forty quid for two nights. We we fuck up. Yes, I'll pay that all day long. Yeah, you know, well, yeah, we got. We charged everything up. Power bank, scooters, um, yeah. Hoover. <laughs> Hoover takes all bloody day to charge. <laughs> it does last a while, though. Charge. Yeah. So it was. Yeah, it was a good little stopover. Not the prettiest place in the world, I have to say. It probably looks pretty rough screen than it is in person. <laughs> no, I mean Clevedon. Um, yeah, well, it was nice, nice little stop off, nice and relaxing. So yeah, not got much else to say, I don't think, have we? No, no. Yeah. If they do plan on doing the protest, then um, I wholeheartedly agree with them because that's absolutely stupid, stupid amount of money. Especially driving something this big. We, we made sure that we were on like 4% water before we left the site because we just don't want to be driving around with a tank full of water. Oh yeah, and Cheltenham, this is the reason we picked it, is because we have an absolutely full bag of washing, don't we? Yeah, we need a washing machine. <laughs> we need a washing machine. We I've turned my boxes inside out, <laughs> I've a few times. We need so somewhere to uh, get the line out and dry it all, so yeah, we've not washed since we left the campsite. We're not, not, not ourselves, obviously. He's not, he's got loads of underwear. Um, but yes, it's getting to a point now where we need to do some washing. So it's something you need to consider if you are planning on living in a van. Um, laundry. And yeah, these we've got two nice hot days now, so we should be should able, to, be able dry to dry it all, and yeah. And uh, obviously, if it's if we have to, we have to pay for a dryer. Simple as that, isn't it? It's going to be sunny. It's going to be 30 degrees tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be a hot one. Can't break out the shorts. 
Get your white legs out. Speedos on. Can't be as white as mine. <laughs> you're not wearing your speedos. I mean, I didn't want to go paddle boarding. Bloody stick in the mud. <laughs> He keeps going on about these people having these sub boards and going paddle boarding and stuff. And it looks cool, but if I like it, I'm going to store it. On the roof. <laughs> you can get inflatable ones. Yeah, but you still got a. To... Yeah, true. So we don't have a garage, so obviously storage is a premium in here. As I've just found out when I was trying to put all bottles of water away, <laughs> they kind of stuck in there and everywhere. <laughs> But yeah, we'll catch up with you at Cheltenham. Um, I just want to say, if you like our channel, please consider liking and subscribing and drop a comment down below. I do answer everybody and we appreciate everybody who already subscribes and watches, watches if you're us. watching, tell your friends to get them to subscribe. Yeah, we do appreciate you all. Um, we didn't actually ever expect to get as many subscribers as we have already did we? Didn't, no, not with you. I didn't think anybody would want to watch me waffling. Because <laughs> they're like he talked a lot. I can't get away in edgeways. I shall then, go on top. We're going up to the 60 mile an hour bed. <laughs> See? It's all a gal with him. I'm not sure you're a giant, but we're in Gloucestershire. Yeah, welcome to Gloucestershire. So, yeah, we will catch up with you when we get to Cheltenham. Never been. So, we'll see what that's like. Yeah, I'll have notes. See you when we get there. See you later. Bye.